Kieran Kearney representing Heat MMA and gentlemen both these fighters are really at the stage where they're trying to to push on to that next level they do have some losses on the record and perfect matchup considering both men's experience hey well that's as uh, early as a tight and as you can get yeah no glove touch straight to it and uh, the flyweights always bring a fast pace yeah, yeah. so Seaton's on his third fight and Kearney's on his fourth they're just sort of finding their way here and looking to start uh, finding what works for them really in these fights. Nice knee up there. Seaton pressing the action here. Well, it really is a hallmark of his game if you've watched any of his fights to, to pressure his opponents against the cage, work for that takedown. Oh, fill the space beautifully there with the knee. There's already a little reddening in and around the nose of Kearney there. And as we say so often, it may look to the uninitiated that not a lot's going on here, Reese, but it really is that most draining aspect of MMA. Yeah, especially, you know, for the man that can't control his breath there, it's, it's a lot of work. If they are both relaxed and, and composed, then it might maybe not just be as hard. Callum looks great in there. Went for a low ankle trip, which is which can be tricky. Trying to step over that leg. Oh, lovely. Excellent work by Callum Seaton. Used the cage beautifully there just to get the momentum off it, that little bump. Mm. See what, Callum looks fantastic. Yeah, that was impressive. And he's heavy here, chest to chest, and using his head well on the ground. And if you've established a very strong half guard, you don't necessarily need to move right into the mount, but good work from Kearney there to re-establish guard. He's created an angle for himself, may hit the sweep here. Little cage grab, was it? Yeah, and there's the sweep at the second attempt. Really good work by Kearney. Look how quick Callum was up, straight back to that position that he entered in. Yeah, didn't allow his opponent to uh, to get away too easily. Callum Seaton bringing that chill son in. Attitude out, huh? Again, to the uninitiated, it may not be particularly aesthetically pleasing, but to sustain this kind of pressure from Seaton, that really speaks to how well conditioned he is. Yeah, absolutely. And again, may look for the trip takedown here, and he's just relentless. Yeah, he's like glue there. He's not allowing Kearney any space with which to work, and at what stage does this become frustrating for Kearney, Paul? Yeah, I mean, when you can go through your whole first round like this, where your opponent is just making you carry his weight, pressuring you, you're just being reactive, not proactive. Yeah. It can be demoralizing for an inexperienced fighter, you know? And, and right now, for me, Seaton's the one winning the fight. He's the one pushing the pace, landing enough foot stomps to, to negate the break. But Kearney trying to get in on the neck here. Yeah, it's been a really tough opening round for Kearney. Mm. And even then he did hit that sweep, he was straight uh, back on the back foot. So, uh, you know, that can be disheartening. Distance closed very well. Seaton giving <laughs> Kearney the distance and, and smothering the work of their opponent. It can make the guy trying to get that offense going, it can make him a little bit gun shy because he doesn't want to then overcommit to the strikes. Yeah. This will be interesting if he does it again. That's there so it is. is. And he establishes it's back impressive. control right away, but nice work from Kearney hitting that scarf takedown. The back door maybe. Trying to isolate the arm. The back but can become exposed here, but now he's actually almost took his opponents back. It was very high up there. Armbar, 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 armbar that on. elbow's deep. It's on. That elbow is deep. Oh, goes belly down on it. I think he might be safe now. Just out, yeah. Very needs nice to be, needs be wary of the triangle and the up kicks. That's a oh. good shot right down the middle. Toting shots. It's just relentless. Like you said, Reese, chill son and ask. 100%. That pressure is, is serious. And it's funny, you know, Callum comes from a gym with two flyweight coaches, two of the best. So, yep. you know, he'll be well versed in these positions. Shout out to Andy Young and Arnold De Santos. Building something very, very special up there in Bangor at Hybrid MMA. 
establishes the mount and these don't need to be concussive shots they just need to add up needs to get that palm in create a little bit of separation and i think kearney actually took himself away from the cage there yeah. felt a bit like that didn't it mm. trying to trap a half guard now and then turn himself back in yeah. heavy shots yeah those shots just change up the jiu-jitsu game entirely hammer fist straight shots bent arm shots landing lovely ground and point and none of these fights singularly will knock Kearney out, but the accumulative damage that will elicit that almost lack of intelligent defense just covering up from Kearney. Needs to be mindful of that submission attempt again. They're like so short, there's no pull back of them, they just go forward. Oh, that's interesting. With that. But again, just closing the even in exchanges like that, Satan maintains that close distance. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is a strong position here. If he can cement those hips down and get some big, big strikes off. Paul, is there anything offensive Kearney can do from this position? What does he need to do? That left arm underhook, if he could work that inside and maybe yep. try and wrestle his way up, that would be an option. But what's happening is every time he's moving he's trying to think about the jiu-jitsu game the shots coming down on top of him so when you do go like this when you go to your yeah. jiu-jitsu you need more urgency you need to pull things off in an instant jiu-jitsu doesn't work at the same tempo in a mixed martial arts setting pull things off in an instant huh being there my friend <laughs> nice up kicks here from kearney but again, just that smothering work. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, he drops the hips and just takes away the space. When you're the jiu-jitsu player on the bottom, you need room to move your, your legs, get your legs back in play. And if your opponent just drops his weight like that, it makes life very, uh, very hard for you. And a couple of times we've seen Kearney go for the leg. What he has to do when he goes for the leg is commit both hands. Yeah. And in doing so, he establish the underhooks and get the takedown. But you wonder, having had to almost ride the, the crest of the wave, have to endure the pressure put on by Satan, what does Kearney have left I'll in the gas Coming out with a much lower base and not allowing my opponent run across like this and get a hold of me. Great shot, Paul. But he actually Three had an early in. try at some of them shots, but Callum just walked on through. He's so good at just coming out and just taking hold of his yeah. opponent, isn't he? Three rounds in a row. Taking hold of the opponent and indeed taking a hold of the fight, gentlemen. Mm. And he's also done, if you look at the face of Kearney, it, we're talking all about the, the grappling acumen of Satan, but if you look at the face of Kearney, he's also landed a fair bit of damage. Yeah, he's reddened up. Nice balance from Satan there, and then the gate to take down. As the hands connected. Yeah, expect Kearney Very to go for nice. a ride yeah, here. There you go. A strength in there. Mm. Just doing the right things in the right position. The head's in the right spot. Tapping away, see, with, even with those knees, just irritating his opponent. And I think that's that's a hallmark of someone that has a very, very well-established skill base and skill set. You know what they're going to do, yet the opponent can't prevent them from doing it. Yeah. Trying to work the guard up. Doing a great job of listening to his coaches too. Yeah. You know, Callum's maybe a one-two fighter, but he, he by no way looks like it. You know, he's learned a lot from his fights, and it's very clear to see. Yeah, I mean, Callum Seaton lost by a triangle in uh, April, in cage contender, and then he had a TKO loss in Scotland in June, so re really young in his career, but I'm impressed with what I'm seeing right now. Needs to turn in, doing so properly. And again, just even the pressure with the chest on that yeah. leg. Smashing down on yeah. that knee shield, which really shuts down your opponent's hips. And in doing so, he's opened up the side, the side control for himself. Yeah. Switching Love to the hips low, knees. then the scarf staying busy he's got the underhook now on the outside which is helping him keep hey, chest hey. to chest and he's just staying busy those little knees are enough you know one minute left to go you're just taking the three minutes or three minute round away from your opponent you're doing enough to get a 10-9 on the scorecard and you do that twice in a fight you get you you win the fight you do it three times you win it convincingly it's yeah. a really good fight iq on display over the course of the three rounds i would love to see the numbers for the amount of time spent in top position from seaton in the vast majority yeah. of the fight, hasn't it? And right now, he's happy to stay in that half guard anchor position because he's still being proactive, landing shots. Yeah, that lockdown on the leg is just it's allowing his opponent to just pull him down a little and not be maybe shoulder heavy on his jaw, but it's, it's not going to get him out of there. 
Callum Seaton just with a dominant grappling display over the course of the whole fight. Finishing strong with some ground and pound. Undoubtedly the best performance in the young amateur career of Callum the Butcher at Seaton. It's the closest thing we have seen to a shot out tonight, gentlemen. Yeah, unbelievable performance. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we've got to get judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this bout. 30 27 for your winner. By unanimous decision, Callum yeah! the Butcher. Seaton.